how do I make the library a different environment than the rest of the school? Um, I think it just naturally, uh, just because of the size of it, it's different. Um, the fact that we have, we offer online classes to our high school students as well as online college classes. So there's just, uh, there's a lot of people in here all the time. So it's not just checking out books in and out. Um, through the holidays, the different seasons, the different cultural events that we offer here, whether it's Hispanic Heritage Month or Black History Month or Women's History, um, just finding different ways to um, make the students' experience in here different and diverse um, and creating different opportunities for creativity, um, study, quiet, friendship, just being. <laughs> Uh, my favorite time of the year during the school year is just pretty much all the time. Uh, this week, uh, we're loving Homecoming Spirit Week, and everyone is excited. They all participate, so the school spirit is just alive. Uh, we uh, bring in the middle schoolers as well and the teachers, and it's just a fun, fun week. Um, of course, our holidays are always special. Um, something that's new the last several years have been the different recognition of the different um, cultural um, diversity that we have in our community and in our school. And I think that's so important. And that has really been meaningful um, for everyone in the building. Uh, we just finished recently with the Hispanic Heritage Month, and that was exciting. And, it, and then our Black History Month, Women's History. Um, each year we get better. Um, it gets bigger, better, um, and I think it just makes for better, better young adults, better, better humans, the more we know. This library, one of my favorite quotes is by author Brene Brown. And her quote is, um, be here, be you, belong. And this library belongs to everyone. And I love that. And I want that to be the emphasis that no matter who you are, whether you're an online class student, whether you're a middle schooler, staff, I, I want everyone to feel like they belong, that they're welcome, and that they have a place here. Um, I was fortunate to our family. My dad was a petroleum engineer, so we moved around a lot. Uh, so being the new kid that didn't fit in, I know how that feels, and so I have a heart for that. But uh, we call uh, North Texas home, and um, and it's a place that's been part of our family for many, many generations. And so that's where we we call home. And it's a small town north of Dallas, Whitesboro, Texas. Okay. Um, when did you know that you wanted to become a librarian? Um, to be honest, I didn't. Um, I had the opportunity to work with some fabulous uh, librarians as mentors, and Sandy Arnold being one here, um, Carol Ettinger, then um, Adam Wathen from Tabor Library. And through those experiences and those mentorships, I realized this is a really cool place to work. Uh, you get the opportunity to see students all the time, not just a, a select few that happen to be in your class. Um, you get to work with books, which I love, and just the interaction. A lot of um, a lot of people pass through your day, so um, it happened by chance, but it definitely has been the best work experience I've had. Mm, that's a big question. What do I want to be known for, My the legacy? Just that she was welcoming, that uh, the library was the, a cool place to be, relaxing. Uh, everyone felt welcome, where they wanted to create, build, uh, study, just hang, be with her friends. Um, but it was, it was a good place to be. Um, what inspired you to bring esports to Hillsborough High School? So I'm, I'm excited about this. So esports coming to the high school. Um, I'm of the age, I didn't even know what esports meant. I thought it was something you played on your on your phone. I, uh, Sandy Arnold and I went to a workshop last uh, spring at ESDAC and they introduced esports and uh, they kept looking at me, kept looking at Sandy, the presenters, and said, this is good, you can do this. This is foreign to you, but I promise this is gonna be good for your students. So after the presentation and understanding just really what it is, um, the outreach and the opportunity that it brings our students. It's a whole new world out there. Um, I love learning new things, and I want our students to know that this opportunity is there, that if you want to be an analyst for an eSports 
team or the arenas or be part of a teamwork, um, whether you're male or female or whether you're handicapped, it does not matter when it comes to esports. And I loved that. And uh, the, the positive response that other larger schools and universities have um, in having an esport team, I wanted to bring those, res- those opportunities and those, that new vocabulary, that teamwork, all of that to our school. And the um, response has been very positive. We're using it as an incentive. If you get your classwork done, if you're in attendance and you have your teacher's permission, um, our middle school, stu- all of our students, then you have the opportunity to come and play esports um, during your school day. And it's, um, it's working. And I love seeing people that otherwise wouldn't sit next to each other, be on a team together, um, do that. And I love the inclusion that it has brought. Why did you choose to come out of retirement? So the timing was right. I went into retirement to take care of my um, my ailing parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, we moved them from Texas to Hillsboro, which was the best decision for our family. And uh, I was in semi-retirement for two years. Um, at that during that time, my mom passed away, mm-hmm. and my dad was well taken care of at Parkside. And the timing was just right. The opportunity, the position came open again. Um, I feel that God led me back, and I have loved um, the years that I've returned. Um, and then, what inspires you to do what you do? Uh, what inspires me? I think you, the AV class, wow, Bailey Kaufman, wow, the teachers, the students, um, just the world events, um, things that we can talk about, we can debate about, um, create together, um, the enthusiasm that you all bring, um, middle school, high school students to all of us. Um, I feed off of your excitement, your drive, and I just want to help encourage that enthusiasm for learning, um, whether it's using your hands or whether you're working on your computer or Esports, whatever it is, just encourage you that everybody has a purpose and can do big things. Okay.